Good morning, brothers and sisters. Brother Paul bringing you today's Grounded with God. Today I want to talk about running on empty. You know, I found myself running on empty the last few weeks. Uh, someone very close to me passed away due to the nature of the disease of addiction a little over two weeks ago. And as I look back on the last couple of weeks, I found myself getting disconnected from God you know I've got I got angry got a little confused pissed off all kinds of emotions based on losing someone close to me that had lived with me for a while and worked for me and you know if I'm in my car and I'm running out of gas I got a gas gauge that tells me you know my engine may start sputtering and uh you know, so hopefully I can see the signs and not get stuck on the side of the road without any gas where I can't go anywhere. You know, I've been making efforts to spend time to get grounded with God and to be at peace with myself so that I can be in a better position to be at peace with other people. And I've, as I look back where I sit today over the last couple of weeks, I allowed circumstances out of my control to affect the things that I can control, and that's my the daily effort that I put into getting myself grounded and getting centered and spending time in prayer and meditation, doing qigong, taking a walk, doing some exercise, doing meditation, you know, the things that I've been spending an hour a, a day trying to do, I found myself getting spiritual lazy over the last couple of weeks and you know, there's a couple of phrases in recovery. One of them's in the book says we have a daily reprieve contingent on the maintenance of our spiritual condition. And, you know, sometimes I can catch myself and see when I'm not maintaining my spiritual condition through the things I do daily. And then other times I've got to have people close around me that can see it and point it out to me. And we all need to be those brothers and sisters that can be there for one another, encourage one another, see when our brothers and sisters are kind of running on empty and, and, and check on them with it with godly love and speaking truth with love. And then at the same time, we've got to know ourselves and be aware of when we're running on empty and doing the things we need to do to refill and recharge our mind and our body and our spirit. So, you know, today's a day that I just identify that, you know, I have coming out of a spiritual funk and doing the things I need to do to get back into a place of peace with God, peace with myself, and peace with other people so that God can fully equip me to do the things that he wants me to do. And then I can also know that, you know, the voices in, in my head sometimes, I've got to know where the truth is and, and where they're just passing thoughts that i got to just let go and observe and let go like clouds and try to spend time you know, remembering the importance of getting grounded, getting centered, and spending time with God every day in prayer and meditation out in nature, spending time asking him to continue to fill me with peace, love, and compassion, and to fill my family and friends with peace, love, and compassion, and fill all the earth and all of humanity with peace, love, and compassion. So check your fuel gauge, guys. Make sure you're not running on empty. Spend time every day getting grounded, getting centered, and, and getting connected to God so that you can be at peace with Him and peace with yourselves and in a better position to be at peace with other people and do what God has called you to do with your gifts and your talents and your treasures to help further His kingdom and letting everybody know that together, you know, we can, we can make it and that we've got to spend time you know taking care of our mind body and spirit and getting centered and getting grounded so god i ask you to continue to fill me with peace love and compassion and fill my family and friends with peace love and compassion fill all the earth and all humanity with peace love and compassion lord and help us to take steps to do the things we need to do to get grounded to get centered to stay connected to you so that we can be in a better position to be used by you to serve you by helping our brothers and sisters here on this big rock that we call earth so y'all have a great day god bless america peace officers out